Hey developers, today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to look at my computer science degree. Now I got my degree uh, in 2007, so I'm going to talk about some of the classes I took and if you are interested in getting a computer science degree, I think this would be interesting and also some of the feelings and how things were going while I was in college. Now I actually went back to college a few years ago and got a, a master's degree, but I'm gonna focus on undergrad right now and talk about computer science. Now, if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a software developer. I have uh, over 10 years of software development experience and uh, I teach a lot of JavaScript videos. I teach advice videos. And if you're interested in any of that, make sure you check out some of the links below. I have some of my favorite courses, some courses I've taught, so check those out. Now I got the idea of this video from Jarvis Johnson and a few other YouTubers. They were talking about the times that they uh, went through school. So I thought maybe I would kind of try to condense this video into however long it takes to talk about uh, my computer science degree. All right, so let's go all the way back. I actually graduated high school in 1999. Yep, I am dating myself. And in 1999, I took my first few classes in college. So I took a lot of the basic classes you need to start off with. And so I took some algebra and trigonometry. I took some English classes, a general chemistry class, and then in the spring, I took some uh, economics class, composition, a calculus class, and a computer science one class. Now, out of all those classes, the one I had the most fun in was computer science. I really love the computer science one class, and if you don't know what that one is, that's one where you kind of get introduced to programming. There's actually, I believe at my university, there's a lower level programming but uh, it really hasn't changed by the way. I've checked back the curriculum in 2018. It's really similar to what it was back then. So you, these classes don't change too often too, too much. But the intro in computer science class, I believe it was taught in C and C++. Uh, however, now I think they teach it in Python, but it's really like, can you do loops, conditionals, if then statements, things like that. So basics of programming. And it was fun because we had group projects and at the end I think I created like some kind of text game at the end that I had to display to everybody so it was like one of the most fun classes I took. Now the other classes I wasn't too excited about in fact uh, I actually ended up um, dropping some of those classes I withdrew out of my chemistry class and uh, I actually started working full-time too while, during my first year of school I actually paid for most of my school myself. I got a little help my, for my parents, but I worked really hard. So the next semester, uh, my fall of 2000, I took math, computer science, some chemistry, I took that general chemistry class again, computer science two, and uh, intro to computer engineering. And I think out of all those classes, the most fun was uh, probably the intro to computer engineering. It was a really complicated class where I was l dealing with gates and logics and things like that. Um, I had a lot of fun in it though. Uh, and then in the spring, uh, so at the end of 2000, I had a kind of a, a turning point because I had done two semesters, well, three semesters of schooling, and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. In fact, the math classes that I was taking, I wasn't really into that much. Um, so I thought maybe that I wanted to switch my major to computer science. So in the spring of 2001, I started taking some more general education classes and Really, for the next couple of years, I only took a handful of classes just for fun while I worked full time. I actually was a, I worked first as a doing tech support and then I was like a tech support lead for a while. So I was really focused on like building my way up in my career and I was kind of not focusing on school that much. So to give you an idea, I like took a history 101 class, which was like super simple. I took a karate class just to like have fun I took a sociology class, which was like another really easy one, uh, a literature class, an uh, intro to psychology class, and then um, that was pretty much the 2001 spring and fall. And then in 2002, I only took three classes, four classes the whole year. So I took only one class in the spring and that was calculus one. And the reason I only took like one or two classes was because I didn't want to reapply to the college because if you took over like a year off, then you had to reapply and I didn't want to do that again. And I wasn't really sure if I wanted to be a full-time student. So I was just working full-time. So I took like a calculus class. Uh, basically the easiest A you can get is music appreciation. So if you don't, if not, if you don't know what that is, 
music appreciation is a class where you literally just listen to different genres of music over the years. Let me know if you had a really simple class in college. This was it. This was the easy A that everybody talks about. So if you have the equivalent in your college or school, check that out, your, your university. Check out music appreciation. I took also like calculus two, some like Western traditions classes, which are all something you had to take. Uh, so 2003 was just a really off year. I didn't take many classes and uh, I just worked full time. So between 2003 and 2004, which by the time a lot of people that I had started school with were graduating, I actually started considering school to be a lot more serious because uh, the job I was at, I was doing like, I was a team lead for a while and then they reorganized the department and I was moving into another department that I didn't love. And I was back on the phones, taking tech support calls, and I decided that I wanted to go back to school. So I, um, so to do that, I decided to go to part-time. So 2004 is really what I consider when I really got serious with school. So I went back and took a look at what classes. I really hadn't taken any serious computer science classes since the 2000 and uh, since 2000, really the last real computer science class I took was the intro to computer engineering. And uh, so I thought, you know, I need to get back into the computer science world. So I took my linear algebra, some engineering communications class, a computer science two class, um, some physics classes, engineering classes. So in 2004, I definitely uh, got back into it. I, I did take off another semester of school. So uh, what I did is I, I took all the classes in the fall and then I took the spring off so I could um, focus on my work again because I needed a little extra money. So I actually took some time off of school and then I started back up in the, in the spring of the next year, if that makes sense. So out of all those classes, I mean, one of them that really stands out for me was computer science two. That is when we, we got into data structures in computer science. That was really fun. I mean, these are almost um, approaching um, some of the questions that you see on interviews, some algorithm type interviews um, questions. So that was really interesting. I remember a lot of that semester of just trying to get back into the mode of going to school. So flash, uh, flash forward to 2005, I took a data structures class. That was our, this was a CS302 and that's once again, more algorithm type questions. Uh, we had to do, um, like these puzzle type computer science type questions. We did a lot of like red, black tree, uh, red, red, black trees. Um, I'm trying to think of just different data, different type of algorithms and data structures we did. So that was an amazing class, a lot of fun, a great teacher. I had to do another physics class. I had a probability and stats class and like an engineering lab. And one thing I remember is my physics classes, we had labs with it. So every semester we would do the physics and then we had the lab and the lab was really difficult and physics was an extremely difficult class for me. I did okay in it though. So uh, moving on, so 2005, I took some summer classes. Um, since I was only working part-time, it really worked well. I took some of my core humanities classes that I needed to take. The, they were pretty easy, some um, American and constitution, things like that. And then in 2005, uh, fall, I took math and computer science, game theory, physics two, programming language concepts, microprocessors. So one class that stood out was game theory. That's an awesome, um, amazing math class that I highly recommend if you could take it at your university. It really makes you think logical about different scenarios and and how to what what a zero sum game is things like that, and it all times into math. I really enjoyed that class. I had a lot of friends in that class too. We all studied together. Another really interesting class was the programming language concepts class. So we had a whole class where we just went through a bunch of different programming languages. So back then we looked at Java. I think we looked at Python too. We looked at uh, maybe Ruby back then, I don't remember. C++, Haskell, Clojure. So just a ton of different languages. There was every week was a different programming language we have to learn. So that was pretty cool. In 2006 spring, I took a operating systems class, uh, some, uh, a 
social aspects of computing class, another core humanities class, and a history of dance class, and a computer system admin class. So I had to take some electives during my time, so I decided that uh, one of them would be computer system admin. So this was like way into getting into Linux. We had to set up our own Linux boxes. We had to administrate it. We had to set up users. We had to let other, other people in the class log in. Uh, we just learned tons of things about like system admin, which was kind of a very cool class. And at, in fact, one of the assignments in the class was, could you hack into, I guess, break into other people's um, systems in the class? And if you could do that, the teacher would give you an A. And one student emailed everybody in the class impersonating the teacher and was able to break into everybody's computers because everybody gave them their uh, username and passwords. Basically, he said he needed to get into the box and he forgot your password and everybody fell through for it and he got a name. So that's why I learned a lot about social engineering too. The other operating systems, that's another kind of fundamental computer science type course where you're learning about how an oper operating system works. I've actually got interviewed on that in the, in the past and had questions on it, so that's a good class. Uh, I liked also another class that stood out was this social aspects of computing. It's almost like it combines the modern dilemmas of computers in modern age with um, with how socially responsible you can be. So, like, what happens if a self-driving car? kills you. I mean, whose responsibility for that? We had lectures every class. We had to get in front of everybody and talk. I think this is pretty common. Usually a lot of classes have these type of, a lot of schools have these type of classes. Then we had, to move on, we had computer graphics in my fall of 2006, anal uh, analysis of algorithms, topic of pro another programming language, class and a software engineering core class. So computer graphics was a fun class. In that class, we drew graphics. Uh, well, let me say this. We actually use OpenGL and a few other libraries, and we created games. And every class, we had to go in and create a different type of game. I remember I had a group together, and we got together the night before our final project was due because we were all procrastinators which is not a good thing. We did a, we did some work beforehand, but we didn't get it all done. We st we uh, stayed up until like 4 a.m. on campus in the computer science building in one of the open rooms, and we built our project. And at the end of it, it was like we took a picture of our teacher, we put it in OpenGL, we made him juggle, walk around, we changed colors. That was our final project. It was a little rushed, but I think we got like a B minus or B on it. So we were proud of it. It was a super fun class. Another class that stand out, stands out is we have this uh, elective topics programming languages. So we went and I did, was a, a master student that taught it and he taught it on Python. So that was kind of a fun like uh, class that we had to, that we did. And then Two classes that we did in 2006 of fall, I did a software and engineering core class and a senior projects class. And that one where this was like our capstone class where we had to go in, we learned about like software patterns, design patterns, and then we had a big project was like the second half of the class was all, we recreated this huge project. We actually created a music, a electronic music stand that you can run on a tablet that would show display music notes. That was really fun and it was actually controlled by this mechanical uh, board at the bottom. So it kind of learned a lot of the stuff that we had learned throughout the last four years and it combined it into everything. And then uh, for the last semester, 2007 spring, I did automata and parallel computing. And parallel computing was another fun one where we had this huge computer lab, we were trying to run problems on like 50 different computers to see how we can parallelize different problems. It, it was a pretty fun class. So that is my computer science degree in a nutshell. Uh, it, it was definitely, it took me a long time. It took me like six years to get the degree, but 
I kind of took a break in the middle. So you can see here, it was definitely a long journey, but it was really fun. If you guys have similar story about your computer science degree or your degree, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys are doing or if you're a student right now, I'd like to hear your information. Uh, thanks guys. And if you guys like this video, make sure you click that subscribe button and like button. Adios.